I bring word, sire. There are demands from the Banorn that you step down from the Regency. They are said to be gathering their forces, as are your allies. It appears it will be civil war after all, despite the Darkspawn. Pity. I also have an interesting report. There seem to be Grey Wardens who survived Ostagar. How, I don't know. But they will act against you. I have arranged for a... a solution. With your leave. The Antivan Crows send their regards. An assassin? Against Grey Wardens, we will need the very best. <laughs> <laughs> and the most expensive. Just get it done. the maker we need help they attack the wagon please help us follow me I'll take you to them trap right ahead I would wake up dead, or not wake up at all, as the case may be. But I see you haven't killed me yet. Ah, so I'm to be interrogated. Let me save you some time. My name is Zevran. Zev to my friends. I am a member of the Antivan Crows, brought here for the sole purpose of slaying any surviving Grey Wardens. Which I have failed at, sadly. I can tell you that. They are an order of assassins out of Antiva, very powerful and renowned for always getting the job done, so to speak. Someone went to great expense to hire this man. 
quite right. I'm surprised you haven't heard much of the crows out here. Back where I come from, we're rather infamous. Not precisely. I was in the neighborhood when the offer came. The crows get around, you see. A rather taciturn fellow in the capital. Logan, I think his name was. Yes, that's it. I wasn't. If I had succeeded, I would have returned home and the crows would have informed your Logan of the results, if he didn't already know. If I had failed, I would be dead, or I should be, at least, as far as the crows are concerned. No need to see Logan, then. What can I say, huh? I am an eternal optimist. Although the chances of succeeding at this point seem a bit slim, don't they? <laughs> No, I don't suppose you'd find that funny, would you? I have no idea what his issues are with you. The usual, I imagine. You threaten his power, yes? Beyond that, no, I am not loyal to him. I was contracted to perform a service. I wasn't paid anything. The crows, however, were paid quite handsomely, or so I understand. Which does make me about as poor as a chantry mouse, come to think of it. Being an Antiban crow isn't for the ambitious, to be perfectly honest. Well, aside from a distinct lack of ambition, I suppose it's because I wasn't given much of a choice. The crows bought me young. I was a bargain, too, or so I'm led to believe. But don't let my sad story influence you. The crows aren't so bad. They keep one well supplied. Wine, women, men... Whatever you happen to fancy. Though the whole severance package is garbage, let me tell you. If you're considering joining, I'd really think twice about it. Then, unless you're quite stuck on cutting my throat or something equally gruesome, perhaps you'd care to hear a proposal. Well, here's the thing. I failed to kill you, so my life is forfeit. That's how it works. If you don't kill me, the crows will. Thing is, I like living. And you obviously are the sort to give the crows pause, so let me serve you instead. To be completely honest, I was never given much of a choice regarding joining the crows. They bought me on the slave market when I was a child. I think I paid my worth back to them plus tenfold. The only way out, however, is to sign up with someone they can't touch. Even if I did kill you now, they might just kill me on principle for failing the first time. Honestly, I'd rather take my chances with you. Possibly. I happen to know their wily ways, however. I can protect myself as well as you. Uh, not that you seem to need much help. And if not, well, it's not as if I had many alternatives to start with, is it? I happen to be a very loyal person, up until the point where someone expects me to die for failing. That's not a fault, really, is it? I mean, unless you're the sort who would do the same thing, in which case I don't come very well recommended, I suppose. Well, let's see. Being allowed to live would be nice, and would make me marginally more useful to you. And somewhere down the line, if you should decide that you no longer have need of me, then I go on my way. Until then, I am yours. Is that fair? Why? Because I am skilled at many things, from fighting to stealth and picking locks. I could also warn you should the Antivan Crows attempt something more sophisticated, now that my attempts have failed. I also know a great many jokes. Twelve massage techniques, six different card games. I do wonderful at parties, no? What? You're taking the assassin with us now? Does that really seem like a good idea? Hmm. All right. All right. I see your point. Still, if there was a sign we were desperate, I think it just knocked on the door and said hello. A fine plan. But I would examine your food and drink far more closely from now on, were I you. That's excellent advice for anyone. Welcome, Zivran. Having an Antivan crow join us sounds like a fine plan. Oh, you are another companion to be, then? 
I wasn't aware such loveliness existed amongst adventurers, surely. Or maybe not. I hereby pledge my oath of loyalty to you until such a time as you choose to release me from it. I am your man, without reservation. This I swear. Oh, blast it. Yes. Ah! Here I am. Oh? This should be good. Go ahead. Well, the crows would have you believe that it is an involved process that takes years of training, the sort that tests both your resolve and your endurance. Survive that process and maybe, just maybe, you're good enough to start being considered one of them. But quite frankly, the truth is that all it requires is a desire to kill people for a living. It's surprising how well one can do in such a field. Within the crows, I did. But it has been something the crows have devoted a great deal of time to perfecting. An assassin simply specializes in striking from stealth, and in maximizing that first attack to be as lethal as possible. Debilitate your foe, either by poison or by crippling their limbs, makes any follow-up combat you need to engage in that much simpler. See? Getting paid for the act is beside the point. An assassin is more a tactical choice than a lifestyle. Of course, the crows like to pretend that their abilities are trade secrets, shrouded in shadows and wrapped in a blanket of mystery. So let's just keep this between you and me, shall we? Hmm? Here I am. Oh, I certainly could, but I won't. I swore to the crows that the things they taught me were to remain a secret, and while, yes, they are already angry at me, I'd rather not push things, you see. If you are truly insistent, well, let me think about it. The crows are already angry at me, yes? Who knows? Here I am. Oh, this should be good. Go ahead. Oh, you wish to know about Antiva, do you? The only way to truly appreciate it would be to go there. It is a warm place, not cold and harsh like this Ferelden. In Antiva it rains often, but the flowers are always in bloom. Or so the saying goes. <sighs> it's not really a matter of wanting to go back. I cannot go. At least not yet. I hail from the glorious Antiva city, home to the royal palace. It is a glittering gem amidst the sand, my Antiva city. Do you come from someplace comparable? <laughs> you have me there indeed. I for one can make no such claim as I never laid eyes on the woman. Hmm. You know what is most odd? We speak of my homeland, and for all its wine, and its dark-haired beauties, and the lilo flutes of the minstrels, I miss the leather the most. <laughs> it may as well be, but not this once, no. I mean the smell. For years I lived in a tiny apartment near Antiva City's leather-making district, in a building where the crows stored their youngest recruits, packed in like crates. I grew accustomed to the stench, even though the humans complained of it constantly. To this day, the smell of fresh leather is what reminds me most of home more than anything else. Ah, but it's not Antivan leather, is it? I do not know what the Antivan tanners do that is different, but there is no leather more supple nor more fragrant. Before I left, I was tempted to spend what little coin I possessed on leather boots I spotted in a store window. Finest Antivan leather. Perfect craftsmanship. Ah, but I was a fool to leave them. I thought, ah, Zevran, you can buy them when you return as a reward for a job well done. More the fool I, no? True, and it's a comforting thought. One simply never knows what is to come next. How could I have suspected I would end up defeated by a handsome Grey Warden? A man who then spares my life? I could not. Quite right you are. I see the Grey Wardens do not recruit fools. 
Now, if it is all the same to you, I would prefer not to speak more of Antiva. It makes me wistful and hungry for a proper meal. Here I am. Oh, this should be good. Go ahead. Well now, I imagine that's a very fair question. Being an assassin after all is a, a living, at least as far as such things go. I was simply never given the opportunity to choose another way. So if that choice presents itself, why should I not seize upon it? Now that you mention it, I am not entirely certain. I was but a boy of seven when I was purchased, for three sovereigns, I'm told, which is a good price, considering I was all ribs and bone and didn't know the pommel of a dagger from the pointy end. The crows buy all their assassins that way, buy them young, raise them to know nothing else but murder, and if you do poorly in your training, you die. Oh, I don't know about that. The crows who are actually good enough to survive come to enjoy some of the benefits. In Antiva, being a crow gets you respect. It gets you wealth. Gets you women. And men. Or whatever it is you might fancy. But that does not mean doing what is expected of you always. And it means being expendable. It's a cage, if a gilded cage. Pretty, but confining. I fancy many things. I fancy things that are beautiful and things that are strong. I fancy things that are dangerous and exciting. Would you be offended if I said I fancied you? Ah, that's too bad. I do so enjoy it when I get to be flirty. As for what I'll do in the future, presuming that there is one, I truly can't imagine. It might be interesting to go into business for myself, for a change. Far away from Antiva, of course. For now, naturally, I go where you go. And here I am, happy to be had. Isn't it wonderful how things work out that way? Come now, enough chit-chat. Talking about the crows summons them, you know. Any Antivan fishwife could tell you so. Here I am. Oh, this should be good. Go ahead. And why not? There are many things to enjoy about being a crow in Antiva. You are respected, you are feared, the authorities go out of their way to overlook your trespasses, even the rewards are nothing to turn your nose up at. As for the killing part, well, some people simply need assassinating. Or do you disagree? I often find myself the instrument of fate, ending these lives for one necessity or another. I console myself with the notion that most of them had it coming. As far as enjoying the act of killing itself, why not? There is a certain artistry to the deed, the pleasure of sinking your blade into their flesh and knowing that their life is in your hands. It is not pleasure, per se, nothing sexual. It is more a sense of satisfaction, a feeling of power. Does that make sense? No matter. There are many things I did not enjoy about being a crow, of course. Having no choice, being treated as an expendable commodity, the rules, oh, so many rules. But simply being an assassin, I like it just fine. I will continue to do it if I can, even if I am not a crow. Honestly, could you picture me doing something else? Whereas I am content merely doing what I happen to be good at. It's a talent that not many come by honestly. I don't see why I need not pursue it. Of course all these thoughts are moot. Chances are still good that you and I will perish, eaten by darkspawn or slain by the crows at some point. Very gruesomely, I imagine. But it is pleasant enough to chat about. Come, let's move on while our boots still have some wear in them. Here I am. Oh, this should be... I shall treasure it. Thank you.
I've a question, if I may. Well, here's the thing. I swore an oath to serve you, yes? And I understand the quest you're on, and this is all very fine and well. My question pertains to what you intend to do with me once this business is over with, as a point of curiosity. Could I? And what if I didn't wish to leave? Indeed. Hmm. I might even be glad to call myself such, come to think of it. It is good to know what my options might be, but that is for another time. For now, we have much to do, yes? What say you? Hmm, I could teach others, but not yourself. First, I would need someone who has training as a rogue. That is, unless you would care to spend the years it takes to gain the fundamentals. But, if there should be such a person who desires this training, yes, by all means, send them to me. The crows are already furious, no? I shall enjoy tweaking their nose further. I shall do it. Very well. It is begun. Very well. <laughs> 